afternoon. Welcome to PACE. My name is Kimberly Alonso. I'm the Welcome Center Manager for the PACE New York City campus. And some other fun facts about me, I'm also a PACE University alum. I graduated from PACE in 2013 with my degree in Communication Studies, and I minored in Political Science. And I'm also currently a graduate student studying at PACE for my Master's in Public Administration. But that's enough about me. To give you an idea of what you will see on tour today, you will see some of our newly renovated student spaces, our science labs, our living labs, our cafeteria, our library, and much more. While you're out on tour, make sure you're checking out our socially distanced measures that we're taking, as well as our face masks. And also, if we do have any technology issues, bear with us. We are so excited to be using a bunch of new technology today. But with that said, I'm so excited to hand over the tour to Tour Guide Tori. Hey everyone, my name is Tori. My pronouns are she, her, hers. I am a senior stage management student in the School of Performing Arts. Super excited to graduate this year. I am originally from Northfield, New Jersey, a small town on the coast of New Jersey. And now I am currently residing in my apartment in Williamsburg, Brooklyn. But enough about me, let's get started on the tour. Right now we are standing in our newly renovated student spaces. They were fit, the renovation was complete about a year and a half ago. So us students have been enjoying them for just a small amount of time so far. Right behind us right now is our welcome center. It has floor to ceiling windows. It's my personal favorite spot on campus. This is where you would normally come and have your uh, tour. But right now, since everything that is going on, you are seeing us virtually. We are here on campus. Uh, and now we can go over to the spirit tour. Right over here is the spirit store. This is where you can get all of your Pace goodies, ranging from sweatshirts to sweatpants to anything that you want that says Pace on it. You can find it right here. And it's located right in the front of the campus, so you'll never miss it on your way in and out. Us tour guides are here at least one time per shift, grabbing a new sweatshirt. And once one tour guide has a new sweatshirt, the rest of us have it about an hour later. Uh, so that's one of our favorite spots on campus. Right here is our security desk. You'll hear about security in, during the tour in just a little bit, so bear with us. But remember this spot right here. Along with that, we are going to head into the student center. This is our student center on campus. Right now, it is set up to be a socially distant classroom. But normally, when there isn't tables and chairs in here, this space is used by our wonderful clubs and organizations on campus for many, many different events, ranging from painting nights to winter carnivals. It's where us tour guides like to come and get free food when there's events going on. So you can also take advantage of that as a pay student as well, and it's a great way to get involved. So this is one of our great spaces on campus. I personally love the floor to ceiling windows that look out onto Spruce Street. So even when you're here on campus, you can get a view of what's going on in the city around us. Along with that, I love to study in this room. It's usually, it's typically very quiet and you can always see what's going on. So we can now head out and I'll show you another space. This space right here is actually quite lively right now. We have some freshmen hanging out who just moved on to campus. You know where. Uh, along with that, as you can see, students can sit and enjoy these spaces singularly or together as a group, whether they're studying or just hanging out. This long black tabling hub right here is exactly what it sounds like, a tabling hub. It's where different clubs and organizations can sit and do tabling, meaning when you're walking in and out of campus, it's easy access to sign up for a club or sign up to a, for an event, which is a great way to get involved. Personally, when there isn't clubs doing tabling here, I like to sit here and work on my studies. It's right across from the Welcome Center, so I am a little biased for my favorite study, study spot on campus. And each of the little uh, chairs over here has its own outlet. So while I'm sitting there, if my computer ever dies, I always have an outlet right next to me. So you can follow me. We'll see another student space. Right behind me is our Zanino conference room. It is a fully equipped conference room here on campus. And us students use them for different classes or clubs and uh, event organization, organization events uh, where we're bringing in different guests or we're Zooming in different guests. And by the end of this, we are all going to be pros at Zooming people into conferences. So possibly you'll end up right here in the Zenino conference room doing so one day. 
You can follow me this way. This is another one of my favorite study spots on campus. You can see these futuristic looking chairs. They are actually soundproof chairs. So if you are someone who requires a little bit of silence to study, but you still want to be around everything that's going on on campus, this is a great spot for you. Over here, there are some booths. So if you ever wanted to sit with the group and hang out and do some studying, this is where you can do them. And you might be able to see the stickers on the different couches as abiding by our social distancing rules. So we don't have too many people packed into these booths hanging out or working on some studies. You can follow me this way. All right. Here in this room, typically when the academic semester begins, this is a silent study room. Right now we have two students enjoying a meal together over here. Uh, but along with that, this room is completely silent at all times during the academic calendar year. So if you are someone who needs complete silence to study, this is a great place to hide away. Along with that, all of the computers in here are spread out to abide by social distance guidelines. Along with that, there are outlets at each and every spot, so you will never have a shortage of being able to plug in your laptop or your device while you're sitting in here studying. I am now going to pass it over to my friend, uh, Alex, who is waiting for you in the active learning classroom. Hi, everyone. My name is Alex. My pronouns are she, her, hers. I'm originally from Toms River, New Jersey. Here at Pace, I am a senior communication studies major with a double minor in film and screen studies and economics, and I am currently in an active learning classroom. So these active learning classrooms have charging stations all along the walls for students, all of these chairs can swivel around so you can get in groups with your peers. We also have six TVs around the room. So then when you're swiveling around getting in your groups, you can view your, pre uh, your professor's presentation from any area of the room. And we have video conferencing technology in here. So if you need someone that can't come to campus, you can just video conference them right in. We also have lecture hall style classes here at Pace. So those are lecture halls that hold 65 to 85 students, and we have one larger lecture hall that holds 125 students. Um, in these lecture halls, you usually have your introductory courses. So for example, I had a macroeconomics class in there. But what's awesome about PACE is that we do strive for small class sizes. So I had two hours of that large lecture hall, and then I had a smaller class of about 20 students in a lab where I was able to get a more in-depth look at the material and be able to talk to my professor and ask them questions that I might have been a little bit nervous to ask in front of that large lecture hall. So here at Pace, our average class size is 20 students, so you really get to know your professors and your peers within your major, which is amazing. All of our professors have a PhD or a terminal degree in their field, and we also have adjunct professors here at Pace. So adjunct professors are professors that work full-time in their field while also teaching at Pace University. So that's really awesome to be able to figure out what they're doing in their real life career in a classroom setting and figure out if that's maybe something you want to do in your career or if that's something that interests you for your future. This is also a great way to network. So one of my friends is an arts and entertainment management major. Her adjunct professor had a radio show and she was actually set up with an internship through him at the radio show. And she had an amazing experience. If those internships do spark your interest, we will definitely be going further into career services and internships a little bit further into the tour, so stay tuned for that. Here at Pace, we are a liberal arts school, so we want to make sure that everybody graduates with that well-rounded education that you need. So we have classes called Areas of Knowledge, which are classes in different majors that you can take that are not within your specific major. So for me, as a communication studies major, I took a macroeconomics class because that wasn't an area of knowledge that I needed to fulfill. And now economics is one of my minors. So I think these areas of knowledge are a great way to figure out maybe something that you really like that you wouldn't have done within your major, pick up a double major or pick up some minors like I did. So now to round out this stop, I'm gonna tell you a little bit about study abroad. So I actually studied abroad in London fall of this year. It was the best experience of my entire life, so I definitely recommend it if you end up at Pace University. It is so easy for you to study abroad. Every Pace student has the opportunity to do so for one semester, for a full year, or for a travel course. So a travel course is when you take a class at Pace, 
And then during one of the breaks in the year, whether it be summer break, spring break, or winter break, you actually get to go to the country that you learned about and experience the culture, which I think is awesome. Uh, the study abroad office makes this super easy for you. You have one-on-one -on -one meetings with them to make sure that you've weighed all of your options and that your transition abroad is as smooth as possible. So I think that it was super easy for me. I was really, really happy with my decision and I definitely recommend doing that if you're interested at all. So with that, I am going to now pass it to Sarah in the Lubin School of Business. Hey guys, my name is Sarah. I am a senior arts and entertainment management major. My pronouns are she, her, hers, and I'm originally from Rochester, New York. Today, you are seeing us on our fourth floor at the Lubin School of Business, my home as an arts and entertainment management major. So right behind me, we have our faculty offices through the double doors. Here is a great place to visit any of your professors during their office hours. During office hours, I like to visit my professor, Chris Ramos, who's also the head of our Arts Entertainment Management program. And we love to sit down, talk about the industry. And also he loves setting us students up with different internship opportunities through his connections. So as we walk over this way, we'll also talk a little bit about our career focused clubs. So we have a lot of different clubs and organizations here on campus, but we have specific ones that are focused within the business school. So I myself am a part of the Industry Network, which is our Arts and Entertainment Management Club. They're really great in bringing in different guest organizations such as Viacom CBS, NBC Universal, Disney, and a lot of the times the recruiters recruit us right on the spot as PACE students. There's also a lot of other clubs within marketing, finance, accounting, and if you don't see a business club you want to join, you can always create your own. So as we walk down the hallway, this is again our fourth floor. We have our great sign here de deeming the Lubin School of Business. And then we'll walk over here to our GPAP room or our Global, Portfo Global Portfolio Analysis Center. Definitely a mouthful there. So within this room, we have our relatively up-to-date stock ticker. We are even more relatively up-to-date than the one in Times Square because of our close proximity to Wall Street. We also have terminals in here, the ones with the colorful keyboards, if you can take a look. And in there, that means those terminals are equipped with Bloomberg technology. Bloomberg technology is the simulation of the buying, selling, and trading of stocks within the stock market. You can actually take an eight to 10 hour course here at Lubin School of Business and get certified within our Bloomberg technology, which looks great on your resume. So that is it for our Lubin School of Business floor. I'm going to pass it over to our tour guide, Brooke, to talk about the science wing. Hi, everyone. My name is Brooke. I'm a rising senior here at Pace on the New York City campus. I'm a double major pursuing English and communications with a minor in journalism. I am also part of a five-year master's program in publishing, so I get to graduate with my master's in five years, which is saving me a year of time and money, always a good thing. I'm originally from Long Island, New York, but now live right here in the financial, financial district, so I have a nice short commute to pace. But you were just on the fourth floor viewing the Lubin School of Business. Now we're gonna virtually walk down a flight of stairs and here we are on the third floor and I'm going to take you through our science wing. So this is our Alfred Goldstein Laboratories. So we're gonna walk on into the science wing here and take a look. You'll notice the social distancing guidelines on the floor here, and that's all throughout our campus. So safety is of course our top priority. Something to note about our science wing is similar to the rest of our campus, it is newly renovated. So that includes 25 plus newly renovated bio and chem labs. We have brand new top notch equipment in these labs too. We have a brand new 3D printer, which our science students are really excited oh, about. Good. We have all new equipment ready and available for you. So that includes your lab coats, your goggles, all that fun stuff. So something I like to note about our science department here at Pace is that no matter what major you are, you still get to take a science course some, at some point during your Pace path. So every major gets to experience the science department. So you'll be here again at some point during your Pace career. So that means you could take any science course anywhere from oceanography, like I just did, to biology, to physics, to forensic science, whatever it might be. A really popular science course we have here at Pace is the forensic science course. It's like a CSI investigative type of class, so you really get to interact and engage with the material in the course, and you kind of get to solve the problem like a CSI case would be. So that's a really popular one and something that you might consider taking as a Pace student. So let's continue walking along the way here. 
a lot of times science students ask me how traditional internships might look for them if they look a little different and kind of how an internship translates for a science student. And I say that it does in terms of research. So let's take a look over here. At PACE, science students have the opportunity to conduct research with our PACE faculty. If that research goes ahead and gets published and the student did a substantial amount of work on the research, their name could be produced on it as well. So you'll notice there are a variety of names here and some include Pace University, some include PhD, and some don't. Some of these names are actually Pace students or former Pace students. So by the time you graduate, you could be on a published work of research, which is a great thing for your resume and is great experience in your field. So as we're gonna walk along here, you'll notice that there's a lot of posters hanging on the wall and that's all of our published research with our students' names on it. We'll take another pause here. You'll notice that there are a bunch of offices here as well. I like to say that the science wing is your one-stop shop as a science student. Professors are required to have office hours at PACE and that of course includes your science professors. So whether that be in person or over Zoom, over email, professors build hours in their week to take time and meet with their students. So as a science student, you could go to your lab, you could go to your study space, and then you can come right to your professor's office if you'd like to schedule a meeting. So everything you need is right here. Now let's take a look at what a lab might look like. We can't go in because we're not properly dressed with our lab coats, but we can take a peek through the window. You can see right here, this is one of our newly renovated bio labs. We'll walk this way and take a look at another one. Here's another newly renovated bio lab. I got to see the 3D printer last semester when I gave a science tour, and let me tell you, it was so cool. I wish I could use it, and I wish I knew how to use it. It makes me want to take another science course. But we're going to walk on out this way, and again, you'll just see some more research on the walls. You'll see some study spaces and professor offices. So that's a wrap for our science wing. Thanks so much for taking a look. I'm going to pass it off to the next tour guide, and that's David over at the cafeteria. Hi, everyone. It's nice to meet you all. My name is David. My pronouns are he, him, his. Currently, I am a rising sophomore in the Directing International Performance Ensemble program, and originally, I'm from Long Island, New York. Today, I'm so excited to be showing you our main dining facility here on campus. Us PACE students like to call it the CAF. So inside we have this really amazing unique feature called the Rockbot and the Rockbot allows students to play incredible music while they're listening to, uh, while they're eating their food um, and they can listen to whatever song of their choice and it is a little bit louder so right now I'm going to do this stop outside and then I'll take you on a quick walk through of the space. But to get into the real meat and potatoes of it all, what you all came here for, the food. So all of our food is made to order which means that you have chefs making the food right in front of you. You can customize it to your liking. And if you have any dietary restrictions or allergies, you can always speak to our cafeteria manager and they'd be happy to accommodate for you to make sure that you are having the healthiest, safest food options that you would prefer. And for some of our food options from front to back, first up we have a burger station where you can customize your own hamburgers, cheeseburgers, and veggie burgers. There's another station where you can get chicken burgers and french fries right next to it, as well as freshly made sushi and poke bowls. Then we have a hot food buffet, which in the morning has waffles, pancakes, really incredible French toast. And then in the middle of the day, it's changed out to include sides like mashed potatoes, um, French fries, string beans. And then you can head across the cafeteria where there's a salad bar and get those greens in for your meal. Um, and there's also a vegan station. And then heading further back, there is a salad station where you can customize your own salads with your own fixings and someone will prepare it for you. They'll toss the lettuce, put in everything that you want. And then a little further down, we also have places where you can customize your own pasta, pizza, and there's also a sandwich station, which is kind of like Subway. You get to choose what goes inside your sandwich. We also have uh, prepackaged sushi sandwiches, as well as grab-and-go snacks like chips and cookies, um, as well as a, a, a few different places where you can get like water and different kinds of sodas and, and drinks in the back. We also have a station where pay students can actually vote on what the food is going to be. That's been my personal favorite station. I remember one week it was the potato station and it was the best week of my life. They served all kinds of mashed potatoes, baked potatoes, french fries, really incredible food. There was also a barbecue station at one point and an Indian food. So whatever uh, pay students choose, that is what the station will be for that week. 
another feature of our face uh, cafeteria that all of our face students love is our fully functioning Starbucks. And I say fully functioning because you can find all of the same menu items at this Starbucks as any other off-campus Starbucks. So all the same drinks, snacks, as well as New York City themed mugs, which is super cool. And I'm sure you're all wondering, how do I pay for all this delicious food? So in order to do that, you take out your PACE ID card and you hand it to the cashier and they swipe it and you're paying for the price of your food rather than the number of meals. Our meal plan is on a declining debit system, which I really love because for me personally, I'm a big snacker. I love the chips and cookies. Um, so I'm relieved to know that I'm not going to lose a number of meal um, allotted for my system and I'm just going to be paying for like the price of whatever I'm getting. We also have a feature of our PACE meal plan called Flex Dollars, which can be used at off-campus locations. Those include Rosella's, the Pizza Place, um, Chipotle, which is where most of my Flex money went, even CVS. And you can use us at a bunch of other off-campus locations also. We'll say it like on the outside of the restaurant, um, and a lot of them in Baidai have them down here. And your meal plan also works up down at the Wall Mall, which Tori had pointed out earlier in this tour. We also have some incredible events that happen in the cafeteria. There's been a farmer's market, cooking classes. My personal favorite though has been midnight breakfast. This happens at the end of each semester. It's hosted by the RAs and it's just a celebration of everything that happened. Everyone gathers, we all have pancakes and waffles at midnight and they all taste so much better at that time. And there's like singing and dancing and karaoke. It's a really amazing time. But right now I'm gonna walk you through the space and I'm gonna show you some of the social distancing guidelines that we have set in place for this next year. So you can follow me this way. So over here, we have our kitchen area, as well as the cash registers where you can check out. And this year we have a line just to make sure that no one is bumping into each other in the kitchen and making sure that we are all staying socially distant. And then if you would like to follow me this way, you can see we have some markings on the floor that direct students where to go to direct traffic patterns. <laughs> Bumped into a wire. <laughs> And then this time we have our lovely Starbucks that I was telling you all about before. And some more line markings on the floor. So this was our cap space. I'm going to pass it on to my lovely friend Isabel to tell you all about the library. Thanks, David. Hi, everyone. My name's Isabel. My pronouns are she, her, hers. I'm a double major in the Dyson College Arts and Sciences with Film and Economics and a minor in Communication Studies. And I'm originally from Chicago, Illinois. I'm currently right now in our Henry Birnbaum Library, which is two floors full of resources, knowledges, and everything that will get you successful for your academic career. If you come follow me in, I'll take you a little tour of our library. Right to our right is our circulation desk. These lovely people will get you connected to all the books that you might need and includes our wonderful program that we call Connect NY. So in case Pace doesn't have a book that you might be interested in, it connects us to all the books in the New York Public Library system within the five boroughs. So if you need to get connected to a book that you might need, all you need to do is let the circulation desk know, and then you'll be able to pick up the book here, return it, and you'll get access to thousands of books without even leaving one Pace Plaza. Behind me, there's usually our research desk, which has gone digitalized after everything going on in the world. They are there to help you, whether that be with a small research paper for your freshman class or for your senior capstone paper. They will help you get organized with resources for databases and outlines, as well as just have extra eyes to read over your research paper. This summer, I conducted research with the provost and economics department, and I did a quantitative analysis, and it was my first time ever conducting it myself. I was able to use the library as a digital resource and they got me connected with different databases and organizational tools. I'm going to kind of slowly go up over here while I'll talk a little bit more about our student study spaces. So here within the library, our second floor is completely designated to the student study experience. We have on our first, as you enter in, from more collaborative learning to more quiet. So our first area is what you might expect of any college campus with the long tables and chairs within the bookshelf. That is my favorite place to study because I can hang out with friends and chat, but also get a ton of work done. We move into our collaborative learning room, which is where you can find our test desk. Our test desk works Monday through Friday at our average hours, and they will help you if you have laptop issues, or if you unfortunately forget your laptop in your residence hall, or if you are a commuter student and at home, they will get you connected with one for free. And, and that also includes calculators, which is very convenient. Our collaborative learning room, our tour guides, we like to call it, the Panera without the bread, because it does resemble a cafe style with booths and tables and chairs. 
Unfortunately, no food has been served there, but it's a really great place to study with friends and get work done. If we move in further, we hit our individual study area, which are individual cubicles. You can knock out any paper that you might need done. It also has fantastic views of the Brooklyn Bridge. But if you do see something total silent, we do have the silent study room, in which you'll get shushed if you drop the pen. Also a great place to study for any midterms or finals. We do have two study spaces located here that are 24 hour spaces located near the library. Our first one is our lovely fishbowl, which is located adjacent to our library. That is 24 hours space. We call it the fishbowl because we like to joke and say that students look like fish in there and if you knock on it, the windows, you'll disturb them. This is a great place if you want to grab some food from the cafeteria and get some work done. We also have a second study area, which is our study lounge, which is located to the right of the library. Again, another 24 hour study space. It's great for working in collaboration groups, much more of a relaxed environment, a lot more booths and high chairs. So that's really two great study options if you live in Maria's Tower and want to get some work done late in the evening or if you have some time to spend here at Pace. Finally, I want to touch on two spots that are very important to your academic career here at Pace. That is the Writing Center, which is located on the second floor of this building. The Writing Center is here to help you with any resources that you might need when writing a small journal entry for your class or, again, your senior thesis paper. They'll to organize and give you a second eye view on your writings, which is super helpful for whatever you might need. Our final location is our Learning Center, which is located on the seventh floor of 163 William Street. That is employed by student staff members, so meaning that upperclassmen students who have taken higher level or introductory level classes for a variety of subjects that include finance, economics, math, English, they will sit down and help you get everything that you might need, hold review sessions, and make sure that you are on the road to success. So that's just a little bit about our library here. I'm going to pass it on to tour guide Megan. She'll take you to our security and mural. Hi, everyone. My name is Megan. My pronouns are she, her, hers. I am originally from Casa Grande, Arizona, and I'm a rising sophomore this year studying business management with a minor in fashion marketing. So now I'm going to go ahead and talk about security with you all. We do take security very important here at Pace, and I know parents love hearing about all of the safety measures that we have employed here on campus. So as you can see right behind me, this is one of our security desks. I'm just going to move along over here so you can hear me a little bit better. Um, but we do operate with 24-hour security at Pace, including all of our Pace buildings and our residence halls. So we do not rely on the locked door system. There is definitely always a security guard behind it. So for all of our students, staff, and faculty coming into campus, everyone must scan in at a security desk um, with their IDs. And when doing so, security does check to make sure that the face does match the person walking into the building. No one is allowed on campus without um, an ID. And we are very strict with that policy just to protect um, the safety of our Pace community here. So we do allow guests on campus, they just must be checked in at the front security desk and they will then be given a pass that they must keep on them at all times before leaving any of our PACE buildings. Um, we are also in very close proximity, just a couple blocks away from One Police Plaza, which is the NYPD headquarters here in New York City. So not only is our PACE campus very safe and secure, but the financial district in itself is a very safe area to live. Lastly, I'd like to talk about our Peace Safe app that we have here. So you can download it on all Apple and Android devices. And this app uh, features a lot of different safety um, features. I'm gonna talk about a few of my favorites. One of those being the Friend Walk, which is where you can track your location um, and your friends that you have connected on that app can watch you walk safely to your destination and make sure that you get there okay. You can also, if you're feeling unsafe or uncomfortable, anywhere within our five block radius, um, which is Pace's campus area, you can drop your location and connect with the security guard and they can come and escort you to back to your residence hall or back to any Pace buildings. Um, we do also have, oh, I do like to mention with that, I've never had to use it personally, nor have any of my friends, um, but it's just really nice knowing that that safety feature is there for you, just to make you feel a little bit safer here on campus. Um, lastly, with the pandemic happening, we have updated our app to feature some COVID um, safety features on it. So now, before entering any of our Pace buildings, including our residence halls, all staff, students, and faculty must fill out 
a COVID questionnaire. It is only four questions, but it does ask you if you had any COVID related symptoms and questions like that. And then based on your answers, it will permit you onto campus. So when you do scan in your ID, you'll also have to show security that QR code, uh, letting them know that it's safe for you to be on campus. So that is there just to protect the health and well-being of our PACE community. So that's my spiel on uh, security here at PACE, but now I'm actually going to show you an awesome PACE mural that we have here. You can see Maria's Tower down there. Um, as we're walking along, you'll see tons of different NYC landmarks and really fun locations that you definitely will have to go and check out sometime if you haven't been already. But I am going to stop right down here. This is Radio City Music Hall, and I always like to mention this one because this is an option for peace graduation. We also hold graduation at Lincoln Center as well as Madison Square Garden. So I know come 2023 for myself when I graduate, I'm very excited to get to walk across the stage in a very iconic and famous building. So that's it for me. I'm going to go ahead and pass it over to my good friend Mitchell, who's going to talk about our group of lobby. Hi everyone, my name is Tour Guide Mitch. I am a rising sophomore in the BA Acting Program, and I am currently in our Lubin Lounge. This is yet another one of the new student spaces made to uh, hang out with your friends, do some studying, eat some food. It is directly below our grand staircase that we have right here, uh, right in the middle of One Pace Plaza. You'll see the Lubin School of Business sign right in front of the seats. Directly behind me, you're going to find our Lubin Active Learning Classroom, which is full of all the technology that you're going to be needing, including two giant monitors and another large stock ticker. I'm now going to take you around to the other direction of this building. We're going out the two main doors. Uh, this is going to take us to our courtyard, where a bunch of events are held throughout the year. Some of my favorites include free or discounted food carts. We've also had a moon bounce come in during weeks of welcome, which I thought was so, so fun. And then this is also just a great place to eat lunch with your friends, hang out, and enjoy the beautiful city that is right behind you. All right, so that's it for our courtyard. I'm gonna pass it off to my good friend, Doug, who's in the Schimmel Center. Hey everyone, welcome to the Schimmel Center Theater here on Pace's campus. This is our 650 seat auditorium, which houses four of our main stage productions in the Pace School of Performing Arts every year. A fall and spring dance concert and a musical and a play that switch from fall to spring year to year. Now the Schimmel Entity does their own curated offering of shows in this space every year, from concert bands and orchestras to comedians and singers and even movie screenings. I was lucky my freshman year to see a movie screening of Little Shop of Horrors and the director, Frank Oz, came out on stage after the screening for a talk back and that was pretty cool. Some other cool things that happen in this space are that inside the actor studio, a great TV show used to be filmed exclusively on the Schimmel Theater stage. Guests like Tina Fey, Al Pacino, and the cast of How I Met Your Mother have been on that stage, and that's a really great perk of being a Pace University student. Now the show films all around Manhattan, uptown, downtown, midtown, all over the place. But since our initial connection with the Schimmel Theater, Pace students often get free or discounted tickets to see tapings of inside the actor studio all the time. Now back to Pace's relationship with the Schimmel Theater. The Pace Board, one of our great student organizations on campus, holds a number of events inside of the Schimmel Theater every year, right there on that stage, including Amateur Night, Think America's Got Talent, Pace Edition, where you could sing, dance, or do a comedy routine and compete for cash prizes and even compete in front of celebrity judges. And we also have Pace Idol, where one of our tour guides actually won the whole competition this year. Super cool plug for the Pace University Welcome Center. And finally, the Schimmel Theater is a union house, which means that all actors and technicians who work in this space abide by union rules, and the student actors and technicians get really great professional early exposure to being a part of the industry. From all the great people who have been on this stage, all the way from me, your tour guide, Doug, whose pronouns are he, him, his, and I'm studying directing, that's all I've got. I'm now going to pass it on to Brooke to tell you about 41 Park Row. Hey everyone, welcome back. It's me, Brooke, again. I am going to introduce you to 41 Park Row. So just to give you some frame of reference, you were just in One Piece Plaza for the entire tour, but now we walked outside, walked across the street over to 41 Park Row. 
So this is probably your second most important pace building. I say that because it's head to toe pace. So every single floor in this building is pace related. This is a very important building for pace students and I guarantee you will be here many times throughout your pace career. And just like the rest of the different venues that you saw in One Piece Plaza, this building is also newly renovated. So right now, we are inside our brand new art gallery. So let's take a look around. This art gallery is student run and operated. They try to do different themes every once in a while. The most recent theme before we left for the semester was sustainability. So it was really interesting to see how our art students match that theme. As you can see, we have some beautiful windows over here so pedestrians can actually take a look at the art being produced in the art gallery, which is really great exposure for our students. Now we're going to go back and head into 41 Park Row. So we're going to exit out here. And now we're going to pass through our security here. Hi, we're tour guides. Can you let us in? Oh. <laughs> Thank you. As you can see, we have social distancing guidelines on the floor of your two. Now we're going to come over here and I'm going to introduce you to an inside scoop. One of the best places to study on campus is a lounge down here. We're standing at the balcony right now overlooking it. This is a really great lounge to study in. It's super cozy, it has a fun little piano, so it's a great spot to meet up with friends, to grab lunch, to have a break in between classes. It's a hot spot. The tour guides absolutely love studying here, so definitely look out for it when you come onto campus next fall. We have other lounges that are brand new and newly renovated in this building as well. One of my favorites is on the eighth floor, which is home to Sedaka. That stands for Student Development and Campus Activities. Sedaka oversees all of your clubs and organizations on campus. So everything from Greek life to the school newspaper, to the LGBTQA plus center, to leadership societies and more. They oversee all of it. I got to work with Sedaka last year when I served as the treasurer on the executive board for the Pace Press, our school newspaper. And through my meetings with Sedaka and through my partnership with them, my team and I on the Pace Press applied for conference funding from Pace University. So I'll explain what that means. As a team, we got invited to the National Journalism Collegiate Conference in California the past two Februarys, and we were completely funded for those trips by Pace University. So this past February, before COVID really started bubbling up, we got to go to San Francisco, and the February before, we got to go to San Diego, and we presented our journalism and our newspaper to the conference with other college students from around the world. Pace paid for everything. They paid for our airfare, our hotel, our conference registration fees, and they reimbursed me for all my meals and Ubers. It was a really great experience, and it's something I continue to touch on and talk about in my later interviews for jobs and internships. So that was a really phenomenal experience. What else is in this building? Another really important department is on the 16th floor, and that is home to career services. So career services is, we always tell our students, first place you should go when you become a freshman at Pace. They will hold resume workshops, they will hold cover letter workshops, they will hold one-on-one -on -one counseling to help you develop your interview skills, to help you really make sure your resume is crisp and ready to send out. We have an online portal called Handshake where you can find exclusive access to those jobs and internships that are the best fit for you and that are in your field. So definitely make sure to check them out there on the 16th floor. Last but not least in this building on the second floor, we have our Dyson College of Arts and Sciences advisors. So if you are in the Dyson College of Arts and Sciences, anything from me, an English and communications major to a biology major to a performing arts major and anything that falls under that college, your advisors are right here in this building. So they will hold meetings for you. They will hold one-on-one -on -one counseling appointments for you. Whether that be virtual or in person, they are here for you. And I have had a great experience working with that department. So that about wraps it up for 41 Park Row. I am going to pass it off to the next tour guide, which is Alex, and she will tell you more about Maria's Tower. Hey everyone, so I'm gonna tell you about one of our all freshman residence halls, Maria's Tower. There's some wonderful photos behind me, so definitely check that out as I'm speaking about it. Maria's Tower, like I said, is an all freshman residence hall. 
it's actually located right above One Case Plaza. So that means that it is in the same building that most of your academic classes will be. So that is awesome in those cold New York winter months when it's snowy, rainy, or just super chilly outside. You probably won't even have to leave the building to go to class, which is awesome. Maria's Tower is all doubles, so you will have one other roommate, and all of the rooms are the same size. Maria's Tower is a more traditional college-style residence hall, so there are communal bathrooms. Depending on the male-to-female ratio of each floor, there's typically two female bathrooms and two male bathrooms on each floor, and then some floors also have gender-neutral bathrooms that are available for you to use. Because it is more communal style, there are two lounges on each floor as well. So there is a social lounge with a TV where you can hang out, chat with your friends. My freshman year, we like to do karaoke in there, which was super fun. And then there's also a quiet study lounge. So that is completely silent for you to go in, study for your finals, write a paper, whatever you need to do. There's also an extra study space and a kitchenette on every other floor of Maria's Tower. You also have access to all of the amenities in the One Pace Plaza building. So that would be the fitness center, the cafeteria, and the library. And there's also laundry located on the 17th floor of Maria's Tower for you to use. So now I'm going to let you hear from David about our other all-freshman residence hall, 182 Broadway. Hi again, everyone. It's David. Right now I'm going to be telling you about 182 Broadway. It is the furthest point on our campus, located about five blocks from our main campus building. It's the place that I called home my freshman year and I miss it so, uh, but it never took me more than like five to seven minutes to walk to my classes because we, it is in such a close proximity to the Pace building. We also have Fulton Station located right across the street from 182 Broadway and with, has multiple subway lines. It's one of the largest stations in Lower Manhattan. So you can take that to get up to the theater district and catch a Broadway show or even go out to Brooklyn and go explore. Um, so anywhere you need to go, those sub subway lines can connect you there. And then all you'd have to do is walk right back to, across the street to get home. Inside the building itself, it's comprised of 50% triples, 25% doubles and 25% quads. In terms of the furniture in the room, it comes stocked with a mattress, bed frame, desk, chair, mini fridge, microwave, as well as your own private bathroom, which gives it that apartment suite style feel. You can also personalize and decorate it yourself, and it's just an added space of privacy for you and your roommates to access. Because uh, you will be living with likely more than one person, the rooms are proportional to the amount of people living in them. So they actually get bigger uh, depending on how many people living with them with the quads being the biggest, then triples, then doubles. In terms of amenities in the building, they're all located on the fourth floor, which makes the floors feel more apartment suite style. So you would just have to head down to floor four to access these things that I'm gonna tell you about. So they include a study lounge that's always silent and you can print your stuff there even. There's also a mail room as well as a screening room. My friend actually did a screening of Mama Mia there his freshman year, which was super fun. And then right down the hallway, there is a huge lounge with a TV and a foosball table. Um, and I really love going down there and hanging out with my friends my freshman year. And there's also this huge kitchen down there so you can make your own food if you want. And then right down the hallway, there's also a gym as well as a laundry room. You don't need to bring your own coins for the laundry because it is included in your housing tuition, so save those pennies. Um, and that's true for all four of our residence halls on our Pace campus. Um, and then in terms of the My Housing Agreement, that is the process for finding a roommate. So upon putting your housing deposit down, you will get a survey and you just have to fill it out based on your living preferences, like what time you like to go to bed, if you get up early or later, um, if you're cleaner or messier. Um, and that's, that will pair you with someone with 80% or more of the same answers as you. So you'll definitely be matched with someone who is compatible living wise. For me personally, I sort of got the best of both worlds. I lived in a triple and one of my roommates was uh, random from the My Housing Survey, and then another one I connected with in the Pace University Facebook group. So we just had to put each other's names down on the portal, and we were matched up with each other in the same building, same room. And we also made a new friend, which was super fun and super amazing. We also have RAs on each floor of all of our buildings. Um, so the RAs are there just to maintain order on all the floors and just make sure that everyone is doing well. Um, they'll have monthly check-in sessions with us where they'll check in on us socially and academically. Um, and they're kind of like older siblings uh, when we first come to campus. So it's really nice having that source of guidance um, and, uh, and advice from an older person. So that's about it for 182 Broadway, our My Housing and RAs. Right now, I'm going to pass it on to my incredible friend, Courtney, to show you her room in 33 Beekman. Come on in, everyone. Don't be shy. 
first of all, happy summer visit day. Let's take a deep breath. And I do consider myself very energetic and friendly, so it looks like I made a bunch of new friends. I am tour guide Courtney, if you couldn't tell, here I am. I'm currently a sophomore here on the Pace NYC campus, earning my BA in economics with the economics department of Dyson College, and hopefully trying to pursue a minor in entrepreneurship within the Lubin School of Business. I go by she, her pronouns, and I'm originally from Freehold, New Jersey, which is the hometown of Bruce Springsteen and tour guide Courtney. And I put that in there because I myself consider myself an icon and will be famous sometime soon. So disclosure. I'm here today in the lovely financial district, New York City, here we are, where Pace NYC calls its campus its home, and 30th and Beekman, the tallest residence hall in the world and predominantly upperclassmen, not just to show you my amazing interior design skills and my iconic Pace University themed bed, which is very renowned here on campus. I mean, come on, look at those yellow pillows. But to share with you all how similar 30th and Beekman is to all the other residence halls here on Pace's campus. So I'm gonna flip my camera a bit. I almost showed you all the view. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna show you it yet. I'm gonna hide it from you because it's the best, save the best for last. But anyway, everything you see that is brown is furniture. I know you all know it's furniture, but that is included within the room when you live here on campus. And it's amazing that Pace gives you the furniture. I know, very Pace, yes, we love it. Because you don't wanna be lugging like a huge desk or wardrobe with you all the way to NYC. It's just crazy. Pace accommodates for their students. We also have the lovely addition of the micro fridge. And 30D Beekman is apartment style, just like 182 Broadway, and was a huge inspiration towards why I chose to live in 30D Beekman, because I love the apartment style feel. So this is where my bathroom is. And when you live on Pace's campus, you are guaranteed a beautiful view of the financial district neighborhood. Okay, brace yourselves. I was hiding this from you all, but here we are. Come on, people. What? Look at this. This, that's one place plaza. That's the main building. And those are the two bridges. I mean, I feel like I'm on million dollar listing on uh, New York City from Bravo. It's crazy. And this is where the main tour is happening right now. So those are where all my friends are. But anyway, I can talk about myself forever and this beautiful room and how much I love Peace NYC and 33 Beekman and, you know, all the residence halls here. But I'm going to send you off to tour guide Doug, one of my best friends, with one of my favorite spots in One Piece Plaza, the fitness center. So go get him, Doug. I love you all. Enjoy your day. Hey, everyone. It's tour guide Doug again, and I am here in our newly renovated fitness center. Check it out. So we've got our fully functioning basketball court where you can play some intramural sports like basketball, volleyball, and even badminton all available for our students here. Now, if you'll follow me, Isabel, I'll show you a closer look at our cardio room here in the fitness center. So right here, we've got our cardio room with a number of machines and yoga balls, everything under the sun, all available for our student use. If you're living in Maria's Tower, this is the gym that you will use and you will have available to you all the time. Now, let's keep going. As we head to the weight room, I'd like to tell you a little bit more about the fitness center and what this room offers. Now, not only is this space used for intramural sports and stuff of that sort, but also career services, hosts a career and internship fair in this space every year, and sometimes we even have concerts. This entire room is transformed into an amazing concert venue, and last year, Megan Thee Stallion and Carly Rae Jepsen came in here and did a kick butt concert that really rocked Pace University. All right, now we're heading to the weight room, which is just across the way, and we'll get a closer look at that as we, as we run. So, woo, here we go. Get a little workout in. Woo! Weight room, weight room, we're almost there. Aha! Here we are, the weight room, once again, brand new, renovated, gorgeous facilities, all available for our students' use to pump that iron and get ready for a brand new year. Well, folks, that's all I've got in the fitness center.